What's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new movie. The name of this movie is What If Naruto Was Tobirama's Son. Yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie. Now before continuing this, shout out to you where it is to you. Shout out to my boy Spidey Xarco. Here it is, the movie that he wanted. I hope he likes this one and if he does, and all of you does, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And please do leave in the comments your ideas and your comments it keeps me motivated and gives me a lot of cool ideas to tinker with and make cool what ifs as well anyways moving forward as you guys can th see this is a movie one hour long and it wasn't always supposed to be like this uh, well at least not before it was uploaded it was two hour and 20 minutes long and i ended up accidentally deleting that story that was in a lot more details because I want to free up the space from my phone, I accidentally ended up deleting that. I was so filled with anger and regret that I ended up doing that, and there was no way for me to recover that. Even though I tried the recovery methods, it failed. And that is why I uploaded that yesterday's story, which was quite short to be honest, but it was a cool story by the way. And yeah, that is why, the thing is that I just want to apologize to, you know, Spidey. I hope he's happy with this movie, and all of you are as well. Do let me know in the comments. And yeah, just enjoy the story and make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's movie. Our story begins right after the first great shinobi war. As we see that in midst of it, Ashirama Senju, the first Sokage and the strongest shinobi in the elemental nation has fallen to his enemies with the combined might and strength of the new founded villages who are also shinobi villages, Kumo, Iwa and Kiri. But before he died, he placed his brother, his younger brother Tobirama, as the next Hokage, as Tobirama Senju now had to retreat back and plan a counterattack. But he could not go back to the village as it was because of the dangers that waited for him. So, to let the co things cool down, he was dashing on the other side of the battle. As he arrived there, he found a small village of Namekazes, and that is where he resided as he took asylum in there and a young girl an orphan girl by the name of Rei Namikaze took him in because well she lived alone there and had a spacious house Tobirama was forever grateful but as it take a long time for the battle of such extent to die out and the enemies to retreat back Tobirama had to stay there for a few months and within those few months he had fallen in love with the said woman and the said woman as well after sh sharing their stories and talking about their past they connected well together and they ended up spending a night together as well and even ended up marrying but Tobirama knew that things as they were if his enemies found out about Rei they will use her to get to him so he told her to stay hidden in the Namekaze village for the time being as he retreated back after a few months as Rei now waited for her new husband return and that he did after what seemed like two years of continuous battle and push and pull between the villages Konoha was able to emerge victorious this time around under the Tobirama Senju the second Hokage's rule and regime as soon after that a few months passed as Tobirama with an entourage arrived there the entourage of his students who were young at the time these four were shocked to find Rei and Tobirama that their sensei and their Hokage was together with a woman, their brooding sensei. As Koharu then said, I still can't believe it. As Danza then said, what? That sensei has a wife or something? Yes, I mean, Tobirama's sensei was never the type to, you know. I never at least thought that he was. <sighs> well, life is full of unexpected things, Koharu, said Homida, and we should be prepared for it. You're right, we all should be. Senseno has a weakness as well, but he has showed us that what makes us weak, and we can correct that by not having it. Jeez, Danzo, I don't know about you, said Hiruzen, but I will have a family because that is what I aim to do. Same here, said Homura. Me too. Jeez, I'm stuck with idiots. <laughs> well, you stuck with us whether you like it or not, old friend. As now we see, all of them begin to laugh. While on the other side, Tobirama was also happy to find out about a news, but also concerned he was going to have a child. So that is why 
Now, they immediately returned back, back to Konoha, as Namikazes were now allied to the said village as well, but in secrecy, as Rei was now placed in the Hokage mansion that was closer to Senju mansion, as both Dan and Tsunade would al always visit her because she was their aunt and to be honest, she was able to win the hearts of people and both his clan as Tobirama was happy to choose such a woman. And soon after that, nine months passed as Rei gave birth to Naruto as she named their son. Tobirama was quite surprised that his wife would name their son after a fish cake, but turns out that the name had another meaning, the brewing thunderstorm. And that is what Naruto was for them and for its enemies in the future. As Tobirama liked that name, Naruto Senju. And that is how Naruto was born into this world. Soon after that, we see that Tobirama's students begin to grow up and from Chunin, they advanced up to the Jonin level. Danzo was an Anbu now. Ruzen was also the third in line to become a Hokage. And Danzo was also showing potential. Both of the friends were now rivals and competing for the set position. But that was not all. His son Naruto was, while still being young and only a few years old now, was also showing a lot of potential. As now we see in a training field, while everyone and everything was going normal, we see in Konoha in a training field that Naruto was battling out against Koharu and her team, as Naruto was able to defeat them while still being a Ganin, as Naruto was not out of breath yet, as he was standing there in a defensive position as well, and that is when Danzo attacked from the shadows, as Naruto was barely able to dodge, but he had a single scratch right on his shoulder. Damn it, said Naruto. As Danzo didn't stop there, he began to throw kunais at him, as Naruto backflipped and dodged all of them and threw a new form jutsu that he called Rasengan towards Danzo, which Danzo was shocked that he was able to dodge and the tree behind him turned into splinters, as both Koharu and Homura watched in shock as Hiruzen even jumped out. Oi, what the hell, Brad? Do you want to kill me or something? <laughs> Jeez, I did not knew that you were there, Hiruzen Nissan. And Danzo Nissan, you should have stopped. Well, Naruto, you still have a lot to do learn to. Because you were caught off guard. And you know how Shinobi World is, said Danzo seriously. As Naruto then said, Jeez, you're way too much serious. You need to cool ease up. As Koharu then whispered to Homura, I still can't believe that the kid is Sensei's son. Does Senju Uchi Senju Tobirama's son? As this was going on, we see that a little Tsunade, who was now also a Ganon, then arrived there. As she then said, Oi, Naruto, what the hell are you doing here? Jeez, Nisan, what does it look like? I'm training! As Tsunade, with her rage, bonked him on the head. That hurts! As that is when she turned towards her sensei, which was Hiruzen. And you, Sensei, why are you slacking off? Me, Jiraiya, and Orochimaru were waiting for you over, over at that bridge. Oh, uh, <laughs> forgot about that. Well, see you guys later. And Naruto, you better train if you want to become a Hokage, because whether you like it or not, I'm gonna be Hokage first than you. Oh yeah, old man, we'll see about that. As Hiruzen face faulted, while the other three chuckled. <laughs> old man? Old man? Said Hiruzen as he got up. Kid, I'm not old. If anything, I'm young. Well, you're married and you're old now. I mean, look at your face. It's all wrinkly and stuff. I'm not that old, kid. I'm 30. Said Hiruzen as everyone laughed. As after that, we see Naruto was called back to Hokage office by his father as Naruto returned to see that his father was there with a grave expression. Dad, what is it, father? Said Naruto. I have a sad news, Naruto. Your mother, while well, she was visiting her clan, they have been attacked. What? What happened? Tell me they, they were able to survive. We found out the news too late. The Namikazes, all of them are perished. Most of them are. Th th that can be. Some of them must be alive. That is what I think. Some of them are, and but they have scattered around. 
and one of them arrived here before leaving urgently, saying that he cannot stay at one place. He has to leave. Who were they? Who did this? It was Kumo. Kumo found out about you, son, and Ray, and they targeted her. They will pay for this, Tojon. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to war with them. You're not the only one, son. But we can't just declare war. But that is when, by twisted turns of fate, a few months only later, a war was on the rising. The second great shinobi war between the five great powers of the elemental nations. All five shinobi villages against each other. And as the war began, Naruto displayed extreme talents. As he was fighting on the north side while his father was fighting on the other side, Naruto single-handedly was defeating Kumo, Eva, and keeping them at bay. As Naruto was doing so, thousands of shinobi fell at his hand as Naruto stood there alone with two kunais which had a lot of cracks in them but they were dripping with blood and so were his fists as he watched everyone with predatory eyes, glaring at them as even the shinobis that were from opposition and his own allies were shocked and he was standing at a distance from them. As wherever his gaze went, terror and horror filled their eyes, even his own allies' eyes, as that is when the Kage at the time, the second Rai Kage as well as Suchikage arrived. As a young Oniki, who was older but still not a Kage, watched this from the sideline, as Naruto engaged in a battle, but turns out he was able, even able to defeat their Kage in the most brutal way. He punctured the heart of the second Suchikage, ripping it out from their, its body. As on the other side, the Raikage's thunder armor was destroyed by him within mere seconds of using Fujinjutsu. And not only that, he literally ripped apart him a new one as both Kumo and Eva watched in horrors and shock, knowing fully well that they were facing a monster that they could not defeat. But they got their revenge back for the death of their Kage by killing the very father of the said monster that they were facing. They killed Tobirama Senju. But before his death, his student, Hiruzen Sarutobi was named as the Hokage. Kona had won a war, but they had the expense of the second Hokage, while the other nations suffered greatly as well. That is when a new bingo book was issued, and that was the third copy of the said bingo book. And on the front page was Naruto Senju, Naruto Senju no Mikaze. Threat level was triple S rank plus. And if you encounter him, wish he kills you more peacefully, and you don't have the same fate as those who fought against him in the war, or as the Kages of Kumo and Eva. Now both Kumo and Eva literally fell chills down their spines and shivers down their spines whenever they heard or see him, or even heard his name. As for Naruto, we see him at, at the graveyard in front of the grave of his father, standing there as Hiruzen Sahartobi, now much more older, even for his age, arrived there, Naruto. You. I know. I know, Nisan. He made a sacrifice. But I just can't let this go. You have to, Naruto. Hatred only engulfs, and you might end up the very thing that your father hated. I know. If this, these things happen in war, you killed many of them as well. But that doesn't justify what they did. They were the ones who started it. Kumo and Eva will pay. Naruto, I can't support this. Then I'm going on my own. And that is what Naruto did. The Kage wasn't selected in the both villages. And Naruto arrived there, causing rampage one after another. Eva was the first target. He sent them back to the Stone Ages and then went towards Kumo. His destruction was halted with the intervention of Konoha when Kumo begged them for to make him stop. And that is what they did, and the peace treaty was signed, which was in the form of non-aggression for many years to come. And as now we see, Naruto returned back. His anger somewhat subsided. The people, no, the whole elemental nation feared his name, because they knew what Naruto Senju no Mikaze was now. A monster that once he poked, you cannot put him to rest, and he will only when go back to sleep once he's done ripping you apart. As now we see, time begin to pass by, as 
Naruto also heard the news that on a mission his cousin da Nawaki died and Tsunade she too was broken beyond anything because her whole family their whole clan was already dead in the second great shinobi war as now we see both Tsunade and Naruto standing at the gates of Konoha you have to leave Nesan everyone is dead Naruto I don't think it is best for us to stay here why can't you just come with us me and Shizune I can't. I promised Tochan that I will protect the home. Our home. This place isn't home, Naruto. If anything, it's hell. It is not. Hell, Nason, said Naruto. It could never be. Our ancestors, uh, my father, your grandfather, your father even, our clan, all of them alongside the everyone in the village and the other clans sacrificed a lot for this village and for the peace that we have now that is not peace Naruto what they have is fear of you of what you do and mark my words if anything happens to you or the day comes when you disappear or get weak they will see this as an opportunity and they will strike back and not everyone here is your friend in the village the Uchihas they hated you and Tobirama and they will get back at you for what he did I know. I'll be careful. You still won't come, would you? I can't. Fine then. I'll leave on my own. Don't try to contact me, says Tsunade with rage as Naruto eyes wide and as he tried to stop her but he couldn't. As that is when he felt a hand on his shoulder. It was a much older Hiruzen as Jiraiya who was also st standing there alongside Orochimaru stood there. Don't worry Naruto. She will come around. Thanks, Jiraiya. As after that, Naruto left. As Jiraiya and Orochimaru stood there. You think so, J Jiraiya? That she will come around? I'm thinking that she is pretty much serious this time around, if anything else. <sighs> Me too, old friend. Me too. But what else can I say? I had to ease up Naruto. As that is when we see, as this was going on in Konoha, even after the vic victory, which was quite sore for Naruto, because it didn't ease up pain, if anything it only increased it, we go to the other side, where we see that in Uzushio Gakure, or what was left of it, a girl was sent here, as that girl was none other than Kushina Uzumaki, who arrived, as turns out Mito Uzumaki was old and had a condition that she was going to die out from soon, and they needed to transfer the biju. And Naruto was chosen to do so. As once he arrived there, he noticed that Kushina was scared somewhat. So Naruto sighed and brought a smile to his face. And then he bent down to one of his knees and said, Hey there, little one. You must be Kushina, right? Y yes. Um, who, who might you be? Oh, uh, I'm Naruto. You can call me Naruto. I, oh, I, I see. Where are we, Naruto? Well, we are at, you know, the Senju Uzumaki compound, and that right there, the old lady that is snoring, <laughs> that is Mito Uzumaki, and that is when Naruto was hit it with a sla uh, slap of a sandal in the back of the forehead, as Naruto literally face vaulted as he got up. Oi, you old hag, what do you want from me? Literally, old hag, do you want to get beaten more, Naruto? Jeez, I'm, I was kidding. As Naruto then brought the old girl. As he then looked at her. Why don't you rest, Kushina, for the time being? As he sat down as Kushina left. You really have to do this. I I don't want to lose you, Obasan. Listen, Naruto. You're not going to lose me. If anything, I'll join the ancestors soon. And you can always come to visit. You better, otherwise I'll come back to haunt you, you know. Please don't. Said Naruto, jokingly. As both of them chuckled, as Naruto then got serious, as tears welled up in his eyes, I, I'm, get, I'm just tired. I don't want to lose any more of my family. Naruto, if the old bro bonds are broken or are gone, it is time for us to make new bonds. After Hashirama's death, I also felt the same, but at that time, I was able to form new bonds, bonds with other people aside from family. Who became my family as friends 
You should also do that. But who, who should I do that with? <laughs> now, don't make me say that, young man. Why don't you go out and get married, find a woman, and settle down? I snarled a blush. I'm, I'm not that old. I'm only 17 now. Well, you're adult by the shinobi standards, so why not, Naruto? And plus, you're quite a catch, you know. As Naruto blushed while Mito chuckled. But seriously, Naruto, please do consider that. And if anything else, if you don't want that right now, why don't you go and form bonds with those of your comrades? Call them friends, such as Hiruzen and Jiraiya and Sonate and the others. Sonate left. I know, I heard. But I have a hope that she will return. After all, she is my granddaughter and your Nissan. She is quite strong by having both the Uzumakis and Senju genes within her. As Naruto chuckled, that I have no doubt of. As after that we see, time began to pass by as Naruto unfortunately had to seal the biju within Kushina as Mito with a smile passed away on her face as she was buried. As Naruto couldn't hold his tears, as that is when he was comforted by Kushina as Naruto as she hugged. Because she, she being an Uzumaki knew losing an older Uzumaki meant she lost a family as well. As time began to pass by, Naruto found solace in Kushina, as she was like a little sister to him that she never had. As time began to pass by, Naruto monitored her and watched over her. As also, turns out he also found a Namikaze alive. And that boy was placed in Konoha's orphanage, named Minato. Naruto took him under his wing and trained him as well as he did to Kushina. But that is when, once they entered the academy, things began to change as Jiraiya arrived demanding or asking for Minato to be his apprentice as Minato didn't want it to leave Naruto's guidance so that is when we see both of them sitting there alongside with Orochimaru as both of them were glaring at each other listen Naruto I have been watching over his progress and I think that he will be the perfect toad sage the next one you see I'm also getting old here jeez and I thought that the gallant Jiraiya would never die out of old age <laughs> you're right about that. <clears throat> I, I, I didn't mean that. I mean, seriously, kid. I have to train that kid. So please. Jeez, fine. If Minato thinks that y you are the better sensei for him, then I'm okay with that. Okay, then. Thank you, Naruto. You're seriously just going to hand over a prodigy student to that guy. Without a doubt, he will turn him into a pervert. You better believe I will. You better not, said Naruto, as Jiraiya then chuckled nervously. I promise I won't. Can I try a little bit, Ito? No. Not even a little bit? No. Ah, jeez, you're no fun. As after that we see, Orochimaru and Naruto sighed. So, Naruto, what are you gonna do now that, now that you have your, you know, apprentice taken? I still have one more. Kushina, I'm gonna train her the best I can. Well, talking about Kushina, I think that she will be joining a team soon. Wouldn't she be? Well, yeah, until then she's under my, you know, guidance and I will teach her the best I can. And after that, what are you going to do? Ah, uh, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know yet. Well, I guess we'll see when the time comes. Alright then, if you don't have anything, why don't you help out with me in, in some of my experiments? I'll see about that, Rochimar Nissan. Well then, I'll leave. Take my leave now. Okay, Naruto. You do that. As after that we see, time finally came when Kushina was in tears as she graduated. Because she knew that today was the day that she will be parting from her Nissan and her sensei. Can't I really be your apprentice? Well, you can be, but I have to be at least a Jonin level shinobi for that. As Kushina gave him a deadpan. What? You are more stronger than a Jonin. You even killed two Kages in the Second Great Shinobi War, alongside more than 1500 Shinobis from all of the nations. <laughs> so you heard about that? I heard. It was the main topic that we learned about as the history of our village. Why didn't you not tell me that? Yeah, Sensei, that was quite cool, said Minato. Well, know this, kids. Killing isn't cool. I was a rage-filled teenager at the time who just lost his mother and I was driven by rage and because of that rage I also paid consequences for that rampage I caused 
What consequences? I lost my father. They targeted him. Know this always, both of you. Kushina, Minato, your actions always have consequences. So you make the better choice, not the choices on impulse as I did, said Naruto. As both of them nodded and promised that they would do so, as Naruto ruffled their hair. Now go and make a name for yourself. Become even greater legends than I am, or I could ever be. As after that we see, the Uchihas were watching this from afar, as Fugaku, also graduated, was amongst them. As his father watched, who was Sugaku. Father, that kid, stay away from him, Fugaku. That kid is instilled and infected by the Senju ideologies of Tobirama, and that person that is standing there, stay away from it at all cost. That person is not to send you. As after that time began to pass by, as only a few months passed when a skirmish at the border occurred near the Uchiha side, as Naruto was sent out by Hiruzen to check it out. As Naruto arrived, I know as to him it was a trap set out by the Uchihas, because they feared the power and might of Senju's, and to claim their power and solidify it in the in the whole village as the Uchihas, they had to do this. So instead of killing him and taking the blame for themselves or uh, in the fear that Konoha might find out and get outrageous at them, they sealed him away within a scroll and locked it away. And that scroll, the one that was created by a seal master of old age was killed, meaning there was no key or no way to break through it. But unknown to them, the key was within the scroll because he knew that the Uchihas might try to do something like that, so he flipped them with a middle finger and did this to them instead. Whoever opened the scroll next time, with the intent to get power, will be the only one to unlock him, and he will come out with rage, and the Uchihas will be the target of his rage. As after that, when the scroll was retrieved back with the Kumo symbol on it, it was placed within Konha Library. And after that, everything went to shit. Orochimaru betrayed the village and left. Danzo became cold and instilled the new division of root on Boos, as the third great shinobi war began to rise. Kushina and both Minato were quite sad that their Nissan and their sensei was gone, but they knew that their sensei's words had still effect on them, and they could make a difference with them. And that is when they went out to war. And both Minato and Kushina made a name for themselves, the Red Death of Konoha and the Yellow Flash of Konoha. And once their victory came, we see that Minato was announced as the next Tokage by Hiruzen, who was much older now, and he couldn't handle the losses that was continuously happening under his regime as well. As now we see the day of the inauguration day, as both Minato and Kushina were standing there at the top of Hokage Tower as Hiruzen and the other elders were there, as Minato looked down with sadness, always looking back at the door, hoping that his sensei would come. As the elders noticing this then arrived, what is it, Minato? Who are you searching for? Is it Jiraiya? If it is, then he might be watching this from somewhere far. As Hiruzen then arrived, <sighs> Minato, Jiraiya won't be here. We have little to no time. You no, know, it's not that. I just wish that, you know, Naruto Nissan was here. As both Kushina and everyone else got sad because they knew that Naruto, even though their sensei, was little brother to the elders as well. Even Danzo felt sad that now Naruto was gone. And he had a suspicion that it was the Uchihas. And he was trying his best to dig up the evidence as well. But luckily enough, so far nothing has come up yet. But still, he had his suspicions. As time began to pass by, as Minato took over as the Hokage, we see a few months only pass when Danzo discovers something. Alongside Koharu and Koharu and Homura and Hiruzen, as they were enraged to find out about this. How could the Uchihas do this? So Sugaku was the one behind all of this. He was the mastermind behind all of this. Yes, he was. Are you 100% sure about this, Itachi? Of course I am. Then why are you telling this knowing fully well that we might retaliate? The same reason why I'm doing this. I don't want you to retaliate. Why? Why shouldn't we? Uchiha should be punished for what they have done. Because of them we have lost a great warrior. 
and we have no way of breaking him out of his forever slumber that he sleeps in now. Don't worry, the seal, it had a flaw. There might be a way for him to be awakened. You just have to be patient with that. But what about the Uchihas? They're going to plan a coup soon, because they're not happy with Minato becoming the next Okage. They wanted Fugaku to be one. And that is where I came in. What do you mean you come in? I and my friend Chisui, we both were without anyone's telling going to cost a genjutsu over them to make them loyal to Konoha. But Kum but but the Uchiha's found out and they killed him. As Danzo's eyes narrowed. Why? He had a genjutsu named Kotomatsukami that was strong enough to cause a genjutsu over the whole world if he wanted to at the expense of his chakra. But that is what we were going to use on the Uchiha's. And unfortunately, now that he's gone, we cannot longer do that. So what is the other plan then? Koharu said. Don't tell me, said Hiruzen, with eyes widened. Yes, that is the plan. Some time later, since my brother is about to be born, when he's old enough, I will kill my whole clan when I'm grown older. Itachi, you're just a young boy. How did you even come up with all of this? Even even found out about this. As the heir to the clan, I was allowed to enter inside the clan archives. And let's just say my grandfather had a habit of writing down everything. And that is why I was able to find out about this. Well, Itachi, you really have a Kage's mind. Are you sure you still want to do this? Unfortunately, yes. Because the Uchihas have gone corrupt. Tobirama Senju was right. The curse of hatred runs deep within us, and to stop it, one must extinguish it to the point that only the new generation rise and forgets about it. The Uchiha's history needs to be removed for that to happen, and I'll be the one to do so and carry the burden of it. When the time comes, Itachi. You, said Hiruzen. I'm okay, Hokage-sama. I know what I'm doing. I know the. I know everything that will happen. I'll be taking my leave. As after the young Itachi left, now we see that the elders were st still sitting in Danzo's base. What are we gonna do, Danzo? This isn't good. That kid, he's on a warpath. He's gonna destroy the whole Uchiha clan, said Hiruzen. So? You still don't care about Naruto or what they did to him? I do care about them, but as a Kage, we have to watch over the whole village, which he has I have been and always will be an important factor in Konoha and its development. When did I say they were not? But what they have done, they need to pay for this. And what Itachi is doing is right. We can always blame this on someone else. Impersonating Itachi. We have a way of keeping him safe. That kid is a prodigious mind that should be put to good use instead of put an end to like this. You're right about that. We'll see when the time comes. As now we see, both Minato and Kushina were on the other side, announced with the news that they were going to have a baby boy and a daughter, twins, as both of them were happy beyond anything, as they decided to name their children Menma and Mito in honor of them, because they didn't have the guts to name their child Naruto yet, because the wound was still fresh in their hearts. Whenever they heard the name of Naruto and the way it carried, they knew that if their son failed to carry out the legacy of that name, he will be hated. So that is why they chose the name Menma. As time began to pass by and finally October 10th came, and everything was going great, even the birthing process was going great until a masked person attacked and the QB was released. And Minato had to use the 8 pentagram seal to seal away the soul and the chakra of the QB in his both children. As after that, with a minor destruction to the village and minor injuries and a few other deaths in the shinobi, Konoha was saved once more. As Minato and Kushina were now seen in the Hokage office discussing things with the elders, as Ruzina said, You what? What do you mean that you plan to do this? Listen, Rizan-sama, it is about the prophecy. We have no other choice. Manma must stay here. He... He has the soul. And what seal we used? 
it might harm me too because whenever she might use chakra the seal might absorb the soul seal might absorb the chakra and Kubi can get powerful and break free that is why the children must be separated and we have to take the take Mito somewhere safe to remain hidden from that moss person because he will target her because of the chakra the person is after Kubi's chakra alone we have to do something about that but leaving Menma here isn't the only option. What would Naruto think? I... I don't know. Naruto-sensei isn't here yet. He is dead. We have to do what we have to do to protect our daughter and our son. And we know that Konoha will be able to protect him. And... Konoha needs his Shinchuriki for a standing power as well. We realize that. As Danzo nodded to that as well. He is correct. We need Naruto here. We need Menma here. It is a perfect sacrifice that they must make in order for both of the children to grow happily. And besides, we'll make sure that Menma grows happily here. You're right. We can do that. Alright then. You must do what you gotta do then. As after that, time began to pass by as Menma was raised normally. He was quite shy kid who whenever tried to talk to someone well because of his history that he held a soul but also was the son of a kage who entrusted it to them well told their children to not go near him in fear that the QB might influence Naruto and he might hurt even though he didn't want it to their children and that is why Naruto was raised alone without any connection to the village that is until he reached at the age of 13 when Menma was well declared failed yet again by one of the academy instructors named Iruka and a sub instructor named Mizuki. As Menma sat sad on his swing, we see that he was approached by none other than Mizuki sensei, who told him that there is a way for him to pass. As he went out to get the scroll that his sensei told him to get as a secret test, and once he found the scroll with the Kumo symbol, he arrived at the middle of the forest of death, where he was waiting for his Mizuki sensei and that is when he had an idea to get stronger maybe learn a cool awesome jutsus from different villages to become unique and more stronger than Sasuke he opened the scroll and only then Mizuki attacked as he was standing in front of Naruto what did you do why would you open the scroll I didn't told you to open it S sensei I, I, I didn't mean to I'm sorry you demon you're an idiot what could I expect less from you? But unknown to them, the scroll that was open was already being materialized as a light glowed and silently a man appeared there with rage-filled eyes as he watched his surroundings and in took them. And that is when he heard a demonic voice from behind. What makes you think that I will let you live, demon? <laughs> You're nothing more than QB, Naruto. Everyone hates you because you are the QB soul. As that is when we see Mizuki then begin to choke Menma as he then said, I'm sorry Menma, but you have to die in order to kill the QB. That was what you were born for. That is why Hokage Minato abandoned you. As Naruto hearing the name Minato and connecting the dots with Menma and seeing that he resembled Minato and Kushina, eyes narrowed. As he then grabbed Mizuki by the arm and literally yanked him, sending him face first into the tree. As Naruto then bended down to one of his knees and placed both of his hands on a shaking child. Listen, little one. I want you to cover your eyes and ears. And no matter what happens, don't open them. Can you give me your word? Wh who are you? I'll tell you who I am soon, okay? I'm someone who will help you. I promise. R really? Yes, I promise you. Can you do that for me? I, I think I can. Good. As Naruto got up then and unsheathed his both katanas that he held, one of his father and the other one his own. As he used the Raijin to get close to him, as Mizuki seeing who it was standing in front of him was in shock. As the next thing happened was both of his arms were cleaved off from his body. As he yelled out and screamed, as he was on his knees bleeding out as he said, Please, don't kill me Naruto-sama. This, this must be a genjutsu. This is a nightmare. Y you were dead. How can you be here? What do you mean, Dad? You were supposed to be Konoha Shinobi and yet you do this. But before Naruto could engage, 
Because of this chakra that was flaring, many of the older generation realized who it was and arrived there with shock and hope in their eyes as they saw someone from the old time standing there. As they then said, N N Naruto, is that you? As Naruto, with a single strike of his katana, cleaved off the neck of Mizuki. Child tormentor should be killed without any regret. As Naruto sheathed his katana as he turned towards the old familiar faces who were much older now. Wait, Nissan? Is that. Wait, what? Well, how much time has it passed? I. I just went out to help, you know, Uchiha's, and next thing I know, I ended up here. You. You, you didn't even age, said Koharu. Who, old, who are you, old lady? As Koharu had a tick mark as she stomped towards him and bonked him on the head. It's me, your Nasehan, you idiot. As Naruto's eyes widened. Wait, I know that punch anywhere. Koharu Nasehan? Wait, you must be Danzo Nasehan. Homura Nasehan, what the hell? How, how did you get so old? Time, Naruto. We all aged, but you didn't seem to any. How is that possible? Last thing we remember, you were killed. Killed? No, I was just going towards the Uchiha compound, talking to them about the attack that happened at the time. <sighs> I see. We'll discuss this in private later, Naruto. Right now, I think we should address the elephant in the room as they look towards Naruto. Naruto as then look towards the kid. What, me? I thought you were going to discuss the kid. Well, how did you broke free from that seal, Naruto? That is what we wanted to ask. Oh, <laughs> oh, about that. Well, you see? Um, I don't know. I don't even know how I ended up in there. As Menma then stood up and said, I, I opened that scroll when Mizuki-sensei attacked me in order to see some jutsus. Menma, said Hiruzen. I'm, I'm sorry, Gigi. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Gigi? Really? Is he that old? Well, sorry for being old and aging so much while you are away. <laughs> well, that's a new one. I guess we'll talk then. Let's go. As while they were leaving, the Anmus told the Hokage that this was the real deal. And soon the news spread out like wildfire that Naruto Senju Namikaze was back. As the whole Konoha at this point knew about it. As now we see, back at the office, the things were different. It's really good to have you back, Naruto. But, as for how you ended up there, we know. As everything was revealed to Naruto, as Naruto gritted his teeth, I still can't believe that the Uchihas would go to such length. And Mito Obasama told me to form bonds with an even enemy so, so that they could turn into allies. <sighs> Father was right about the Uchihas. So, how are the clan of the said Uchihas going on about now? Well, they're going well since only one member is alive. As Naruto took a... Double take. Wait, what? What do you mean only one member? It's a kid. A 13-year-old kid like Menma. Same class as him, the rookie of the year. And he's the only one that is alive. I can't believe this. What happened to the rest? The one who found out about your death. And what happened to you, supposedly. His name is Itachi, a genius mind. He... He was the one who found out about this. We had a plan to make sure that he faked his death and become an Anbu of the village, completely hidden. But someone approached him. Someone who attacked our village uh, 13 years back, causing Menma here to become the Jinchuriki of the soul of Kyubi, instead of Kushina. I see, but where is Kushina and Minato? I see his face on the wall as the next Kage, so I'm proud of him, but still. They have decided to go into hiding with Mito. For the 13 years they have been, God knows when they will come back, leaving one of their own behind. How is that any of it makes sense? It was necessary, Naruto. The village needed his Jinchuriki to have a standing power. Damn it. I hate politics. That is why I stayed away from it. I know. This sucks, but that was necessary. And Naruto was raised peacefully here. As after that we see, Naruto then said, how about I take care of Menma, train him on my own? Really now? You just gotten back, Naruto. Are you sure about this? A lot of things have changed. Listen, Nissan. Even though you've gotten old and a lot of things have changed and I'm a relic of the past, I'm okay with that. And besides, 
Manma needs someone in his life. The kid? He has potential. I see in him a lot. Even more so than Minato and Kushina. I'm sure that he'll go far. Alright, if you say so. And that is when Naruto take Manma under his wing and begin to train him, acting as his sensei and big brother figure. As two more years begin to pass, as two years came to conclusion as Naruto reached at the age of fifteen. Menma reached at the age of 15 now, as Naruto was now 20. As still being young and a senju and a namikaze, he had quite good looks thanks to his father and mother's side. But that wasn't the case here, because even though he was the most eligible bachelor, he was focused on training Naruto, Menma. As Menma, who was training rigorously, has become somewhat of a more prodigy and absorbed everything like a sponge. As Naruto was even able to help out Manma to become allies with the Kyuubi's soul, as Kyuubi then told him that he has been restoring Chakra and he was officially the full Junchuriki. And both Manma and Kyuubi were able to bond as well, and both had huge respects for Naruto because of what he has done, and what he was, a pacifist, who saw what his ancestors did wrong, and ap even apologized. As for Kyuubi, who revealed his true name to be Kurama, he also formed a bond and got found of Menma because of his intelligence and non-stupid behavior. As that is when everything was going great, both of them heard the news when they were training. Minato and Kushina and Mito were back in town. Naruto has told everything to Menma already. Menma, although quite mad at what his parents has done, saw that there was no other way. But he was still mad and he didn't want to do anything with them. Naruto respecting his wishes obliged. As when the time came, we see that they too were called at the Hokage office. Naruto met them with a smile, but he was also disappointed in them. And when Menma arrived, all hell broke loose. As when they went to give him a hug, he stepped back. I don't need your sympathy or hug. I'm fine on my own. And I want it to be that way. I only need Naruto Sensei, his guidance, that is all. And as Menma left, as all of them turned towards Naruto. He wanted to find out about his parents. I couldn't lie to him. I told him the truth. But Sensei, why would you do that? Listen, Minato. You really didn't thought for a bit that this would have happened, even if you told him in your own way. Things could have been much, much worse. You're right. But what can we do now? Time. Take time. And time is all you need to heal this wound. Give Menma some time and some space. Don't force him into this. And slowly and bit by bit, try to enter his life. That is the only way. And to be honest, I was disappointed in both of you once I found out that you did this. But knowing that politics had a huge play in today's power, there was no other choice. So don't worry about it. I don't hate you, but I'm not either happy as well because of what you did. But within due time, everything will be okay. Thank you, Sensei. Good. Now, where is Jiraiya? I wanted to talk to him. I heard that he was coming with you here. I'm here, Naruto. What do you want to talk about? I heard a news that there's a new group in town named Akatsuki who have been targeting Bijus nowadays. What have you heard about them? This is pretty much it that I told you. Huh. Well, that is the truth. And I have an internal spy with them. His name is Itachi. I know about that kid. So, where is this thing located at? They're at Omegakure. What are you going to do, Naruto? You're not going to cause any more rampage, are you? Jeez, what do you think I am? But I have no other choice to do so. The other Bijus, they might also be afraid. Like Kurama is. It's his sibling. So you really made peace with the Biju, said Mito as Kushina as well. No, no, I did not. Manma did. Manma and Kurama are now best friends or something of that sort. And that is why they got each other's back. Because they understand each other, complement each other. I was only a bridge between them that was able to make their bond, help and grow. I see. Thank you, Sensei. No need to thank me, Minato. But Jiraiya, we really need to go and see this. But before that, I want to meet her. Sinari? Yeah, help me find her. 
It's time I bring family home. As now we see, Naruto arrived with the help of Jiraiya at Tanabara town which was nearby as they both found Sonata there who was drinking away. She has heard the news that even Naruto has perished as she was now completely husk of the former glorified woman that she was as that is when she saw Naruto with Jiraiya. I, I must have drunk too much. Who is he? It's me, Nesan. It's been a long time. As Sonata's eyes widened, as she dashed and hugged him in a beer grip hug. You idiot. I thought you were dead. Where have you been all these years? And why don't you look that you even aged? <laughs> That's because I didn't age. Or at least that is what it is called. I... I am still the same. But look at you, still the same as ever. Even though with the help of Genjutsu, as an art of us bonked on the head. That hurts! Why are you hitting me like that? Don't call a woman old, Naruto. That is why you're still single. As Naruto literally was hurt by that. As Naruto then said, Okay, I'll find a woman, okay? I promise. You better. I want a lot of nephew and nieces. Talking about nephew and nieces, so do I. Why don't you and Jiraiya hook up? I mean, why don't give him a shot? I, I've seen his letters that he has written for you while fangirling over you as both of them blushed. Oi, Kaki! We been through this. You are not revealed this to her yet. As after that we see there was an awkward situation as both Naruto and Shizune decided to leave them. And when the next morning arrived, both of them were found hugging each other while resting comfortably in each other's embrace. As Naruto then said with wiggling eyebrows like Jiraiya. So, as Jiraiya blushed, don't you dare, Gaki. Ah, but you looked so cute as Tsunade punched him, sending flying straight throughout the village like she would do to Jiraiya. As she turned towards Jiraiya with a pout on her face, you... Ah, damn it. As Jiraiya just gave her a hug. I promise you, Hime. I'll change. But you gotta admit, that was a cool night, and he was kicked in the stomach, sending him flying throughout the window. Jeez, I hope he's gotta be an idiot to ruin the mood. As now we see, as this was going on, and Naruto was able to reunite his family and make Tsunade get back on track and bring her back, Katsuki have found out that Naruto has come back. We have a uh, big news to announce today. Sajatsu, what is it? Naruto sent you. He has been seen that he is back. As everyone's eyes widen. As even Kakazu, who has fought him twice, was seen shaken. Why him? I thought we finally finally was rid of him. This 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 is impossible then. If he's here, this is impossible to do so. This whole mission it's it's bullshit then. Kakazu, what the hell man, I have never seen you so shaken up before. That monster literally killed me twice. If it wasn't for me having multiple hearts, I would have been dead. You see that scar on my final heart? Yes, it was him. It was him who was almost able to kill me. If it wasn't for me switching with my clone. And him surrounded by multiple shinobis. That guy is a fucking monster. We can't go head to head with him. Neither using stealth, neither... Whatever tactic we use, it's just useless. As Deidara then says, So what do we do, hmm? Just sit back and let him watch us get destroyed or killed? I have heard about Naruto Senju and Amakaze from my clan archives. It was my clan who was able to seal him away. And the seal seems like it's broken now. There's nothing we can do to stop him. I have seen firsthand what he did at the time when he was here. He was just a little boy. A little boy who was youngest to awaken the Sharingan and was, thanks to that, able to memorize each and every bit of what happened. Each and every bit of events. They're still fresh in my memories. Like I know them with the back of my hand. So what are we supposed to do then? Nothing. Because I'm already here. And today's the day you all end. Please, don't. I, I promise I, I, I won't do this again. I, I'll leave. But with a single use of flame jutsu, Kakazu and his hearts were burned to ashes as Naruto with his katanas out began to drag them on the floor as he began to move towards them and he didn't disappeared. Next thing was seen was Deidara, Sasori, Kisame and even Hidon's necks cleaved off from their bodies as Naruto literally then moved towards the others as Zetsu was the next one targeted. Using his flame and ice sword that he was able to channel chakra through, 
his katanas and the seals that were placed there to cause this event. He was able to cut through him into multiple pieces, causing him a huge amount of pain. And then he moved towards the masked person who was able to disappear through each of his attack. And that is when he took a deep breath and exhaled. As that is when he said, Breathing style, 8th form, wind slashes. As he moved blade at such a speed that even if the hand was visible, each strike held it 100 slashes. As one strike was dodged by him as he smirked, is that all? And that is when 99 slashes was caused, caused more on his body, causing him deep pain. What? As one after another the strikes became blurred, as using the 100 gashes, he was able to kill both the masked person who was able to teleport with Kamui and move forward towards pain. He then sent something, you're in Uzumaki. Why are you doing this? Uzumaki should stick together, not like this. As Uzumaki then said, My name is Nagato, revealing himself. I am no longer in Uzumaki. That makes things easier for me, as he instantly killed all of them. As after that we see, Nord was standing there, covered in blood, as his blade stripped from the blood of his enemies. The Akatsuki were killed, vanquished within a single night. As now we see Naruto standing there, as Jira placed a hand on his shoulder. Naruto? What? We have to help out Kiri. What? What do you mean? Kiri is nearby. My spies told me that there are there's a civil war, and it has gone even more crazier. They are losing. The rebellion is losing. What is going on? Tell me everything. And don't leave a single speck out. As they discussed what was going on and what has been going on, Naruto was baffled and shocked to find out that such an atrocity was allowed to happen while he wasn't around, as he went out to help Kiri. And once he arrived, they were able to defeat a wave of the ongoing oppressors and then help out the rebels as they retreated back. As both Naruto and Jirai then said, We need to talk to your leader. You helped us out, said Aoba, as he brought them towards their leader. Mei Terumi. As Mei seeing Naruto was shocked, you're, you're Naruto send you, aren't you? As everyone heard his name was shocked as they felt chills run down their spine as well, because they knew their ancestors faced this man and have perished. Of course I am. As an old man who was amongst them then said, Naruto Sama, what brings you here? We promise we have changed. We, 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 we didn't attack on her. We didn't do anything. What have we done to incur your wrath? You have done nothing. I am just here to help you out. And you don't need to be so scared. I'm nothing more than a human. As the old man finally sighed, Thank God. Thank God. He's here to help us. As after that we see, the other rebellions were now shocked. As Naruto and Mei begin to discuss plans and everything to deal with Yagura and his regime once and for all. As Naruto and Mei then attacked, attacking the other side as the rebellion moved forward, taking one district of the village at a time, and soon they reached at the main Hokage Tower when a three tails Isubu erupted, still corrupted by the Genjutsu, and so was Yagura. As Naruto, using his strength and brutality, was able to take care of him, but he was wounded badly as he was panting. As even Kiri was shocked to see that the Three Tails was defeated by a normal man who didn't even hold the power of Jinchuriki, as Naruto was placed to rest as he recovered there. As few weeks passed, as Konha got the news of what has happened and were shocked, but it wasn't only the Konha that found out what has happened by the other villagers as well. As back at Eva, when once Onigi found out about this, he was in deep shock as his hands began to shake, and so did the sh hands of all the other elders asked this and said, he's back. Oh god, he's back. What are we gonna do? What if he comes back to finish what he started? Finish us? He won't, said Honiki. We have done nothing to do so. We, we are gonna, we are gonna go back to the tree tree. There will be no war. Everything will be ceased fire. That is the best option. We have, I have seen firsthand just how brutal he could be. We don't need him here. We don't want his wrath here. As everyone agreed to this, the newer generation was shocked to find out their elders in their Kage so scared of a man who was not that strong looking. And same could be said for Kumu. 
as even A announced that his father feared him and they shouldn't engage with the man who his father feared because his father was a brash man who would go to such lengths to extend to achieve his dominance and he was afraid of this man. So that spoke volume about his power and strength. And same could be said for the other nations. Soon the whole elemental nation was aware of his arrival back. And the older generations told the, retold the stories and tales and the feats that this man has achieved. And that was no joke because he has just destroyed Amegakure, a village that was under the regime of the Akatsuki alongside the said group that was even able to defeat most of the strongest villages. And as for Naruto, he found himself in a pickle yet again. Turns out Mei and he had fallen in love, but now in order that we wanted to return, May didn't want to let go. As now we see at the gates of New Kirigakure, as May was standing there, hugging Naruto's shoulder. You really have to leave Naruto kun? Listen, Mei chan, I promise I'll come back. Really, I, I swear, I promise. I, I have to go and inform my Hokage that everything is fine so that I can come back. Plus, you know, we gotta make things official if you. As Maiden said, you can stay here, Drag can go. Oh yes, of course I can go. <laughs> you better get married, Naruto. Marry faster than me because I want, a, you know, your children to attend my wedding with Sonari. Wait, what? As Naruto was then forced to stay at Kiri while Jiraiya told everyone what has been going on as everyone chuckled and laughed at Naruto and his expense. As Naruto was arrived at the day of the marriage ceremony, as he looked like a skeleton almost, almost drained all, all, all of him. As Mei was shining and glistening, turns out they had a quite active that life. As Mei was more than happy to have such a husband that was capable and a legend of its own right. Plus he was young, still 20 years old, both by age and by strength and all that. And she, even though she was 25, she was happy to have him. As this is how the married and alliance between Kiri, Kumo and Suna was solidified because from Suna made Suna Temari arrived, Temari no Sabuko, the sister of the current Kazekage, who fell in love with Shikamaru and married to him. And as for Menma and Mito, both of them grew up to marry their respective lovers. And as for Itachi, he returned back to his, well, village. And everything was revealed to Sasuke, who in the end had to forgive his brother, finding out that their family was corrupted indeed. And that Sasuke himself was able to find out a lot of stuff that he shouldn't have found. And in the end, the peace was achieved by fear. The fear of Naruto Senju Namekaze. And his hatred for Uchiha's and those who hurted his family and village. As everything was fine now and everything was happily ever after. As this is where I'm going to be ending this movie off guys. I hope you liked this one and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel. As this is Apollo Ochiha and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.